Let's begin by taking a deep breath, collectively. And release. Beautiful. All right, let's begin. Hello there, I'm an angel and I wanted to discuss a, a concept, a theory, a thought form, I don't know what, what to call it, but just a notion that I carry with me, <laughs> it's a pun and you'll understand why in a bit, a notion that I carry with me, I've been carrying for a while and it's changed the way I approach life and really makes me feel a lot better when I remember it and I thought I should share it with you because maybe you'll also feel so much lighter, so much better, and really learn to seize your happiness and take control of it, because it is in your hands. Nobody can make you happy. Nobody can make you sad either. It is always a choice, and that's what I've learned, and I can talk about that in another video. But today we're going to talk about backpack backpacks, backpacks, backpacks. This video is sponsored by... No, it's... <laughs> Although I should have asked to get this video sponsored by some kind of like travel backpack or whatever. When I'm talking about backpacks, I am talking about the past. Basically every morning is a fresh restart button for everybody. When you go to sleep, you stop momentum, the energy inside of you, the thoughts in your head, everything stops. It is at a standstill energetically. Well, quote, unquote, because yeah, 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 your brain is still working. Obviously, your body is still functioning. <laughs> You're not dead. However, when you wake up, you do have a choice. You can pick up where you left off or start fresh. First 10 seconds when you wake up, I don't know if this happens to you too, but I personally feel nothing. You're not upset. You're not happy, sad. I mean, obviously, if you have back aches or physical pains, that's one thing. But even then, it takes a while before you're aware of it, unless something physical woke you up. If you wake up naturally, you don't feel anything or think anything. Then what happens? Usually, either the past creeps back in. You remember, oh, right, I was upset last night because of that. Oh, right, I'm going to be so stressed today because of this. Or the first thing you see when you open your eyes is outside and it looks nice and you go oh what a beautiful bright day that makes me so happy or you take in a deep breath and you're like oh i just had a wonderful sleep i'm sleeping in these these clean sheets or whatever it is that brings a smile to your face when you wake up you know we have a choice is what i'm saying and oftentimes we neglect that we give away our power we ignore the power that we have and i'm hoping that i can share this concept with you so that you can Realize that you're a lot more powerful than you think and you can be a lot happier more often. I mean, it's like anything with momentum. If you try to jump in front of a car that's moving really fast, you are not going to stop it. Someone's on a bike and is just creeping forward. You can just be like, stop. <laughs> Easy. Same with thoughts and energy inside of you. If that momentum of, oh, I'm starting off on the wrong foot today has started and you don't catch it, kind of like when you trip, you don't catch yourself when you fall, you will fall and keep falling and keep falling. And that's the thing with energy. There's no floor. It's just an endless fall or an endless rise. So either you're just like, I feel great and I'm lifting and I'm going up and up and up. Or you stumble, you trip, you fall and it's like down, down, down. Worst thought after worst thought after worst feeling after thought and a feeling is just like snowball effect. So you could make a snowball of happiness and joy or a snowball of terror and fear and sadness and depression. <sighs> Anyhow, these things occur naturally and we aren't often aware of them. It takes practice. So be kind to yourself, be patient. It is normal. So what do I mean when I'm talking about backpacks? I'm talking about beliefs. I'm talking about thoughts that then generate feelings and emotions, right? And we have a tendency of carrying old thoughts, old beliefs that no longer serve us in the present. Sometimes you develop a belief, a thought, a conclusion about something or someone, and it serves you in that moment. Everything we do is usually to protect ourselves, but sometimes by protecting ourselves, we close ourselves off to the rest of the world, to blessings that want to come in, to change. So let's say every day until now, 
I've been carrying around the backpack full of dating is very difficult. I never meet the right person. There is no one out there for me because I haven't met them yet. These are the thoughts. They are in your backpack. Every day or every time you use it, you use these thoughts, you summon them, you feel them, you call them, you think about them, you are picking up a backpack. You don't have to pick that backpack up. You don't have to carry the weight of the world, the weight of negativity on your back. You could be like, you know what? That was the past. And guess what? Surprise! The past is gone. <laughs> it is gone. What you ate this morning, is it here? Is it in the form that it was when you consumed it? No, it's gone. It is dematerialized. It has changed. Now it's like maybe molecules inside of your body and it's, it's becoming other molecules and particles and it's changing and it's shifting and it's becoming part of your anatomy and some of it is becoming uh, waste and wa the waste management system inside of you is getting rid of it. But you see what I mean? The past is gone. Every single moment that passes is gone. And the future, well, I mean, we don't know it. The future is literally everything, like all possibilities. Think of quantum physics. Everything that could occur is, a, is existent at the same time right now because anything could happen, literally. Now, then there's a question of probabilities and blah, 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 but, but still anything could, in theory, happen. So there's a future that you can't touch. There's a past that you can't touch. All you have is the present, is right now. And now is ever changing. It just changed, it just changed. It just changed. It just changed. <laughs> you get the point. So when you decide to pick up a backpack, you are deciding what am I taking with me right now in this fresh new moment. It's a new moment. It has nothing with it. It does not have the past in it. We choose to bring the past with us. You don't have to. You really don't have to. I almost want to challenge you to really ask yourself these questions. What are the backpacks that I carry every single day? A lot of people wake up and go to work, right? And I have a friend who often talks to me in the morning and says, oh, today's going to be really, really d difficult. It's going to be a hard day. It's going to be hectic. And that's based on the information that she has of what's ahead, what she has to do, and based on the old backpacks of how those tasks panned out in the past. However, today is a new day. You have no idea how things can pan out. So if you imagine like the future is just a hallway of doors, okay, let's just say that. You are carrying a heavy backpack because negativity is heavy, right? When you're, neg when you're thinking negative things, depressive thoughts, anger, anger, fear, all these things, you're weighed down. You want to sleep. You want to just lie down. You just want to stop existing. You're just like too much, right? When you're full of happy thoughts and, and joy-inducing beliefs. You feel light, you feel airy, you feel energized. All of a sudden you can go out all night, you know, when you're in a good space. I can relate to that a thousand percent. Like for me, it's music. Music unlocks me in a way that nothing else does. So I could be literally exhausted lying down in bed. I, this has happened to me many times. I am ready to just like pass out. I'm like, I can't move. My sister starts playing early 2000s hip hop, you know, the Chingis and the, the Fabulous and the DMX and all that, I instantly get up and I dance as if I had the energy of 10 people. And she's often seen this happen and has gone, weren't you tired just five seconds ago? It's the music. It's got me. I gotta twerk. I gotta pop. I gotta do this. Do that. Like, I can't help it. So back to the backpack. <laughs> you have this heavy backpack with some heavy, draining thoughts that are pulling you down. Like a big school backpack with all of those like chemistry books. Oh, I'm having flashbacks to university or my, my last years of high school. Oh my goodness, my back has been through a lot. Now you're going through, you're going to the future, a hallway of doors, right? Let's make it even more interesting. It's floors. It's floors and doors but you gotta climb them stairs. The higher levels have better results. Just, you know, high frequency, high level, amazing future. Low frequency, low levels, not the best outcomes. You have a heavy backpack on you, you're not gonna have the energy to get up there to the high, high frequencies, the, the good stuff. You're gonna stay down 
at the low levels and just go through them doors and another hallway with more stairs and another hallway with more stairs and you're just gonna keep going straight because you're like, I'm too tired. I have too much on my back. I cannot access those higher levels. Leave me alone. But if you can drop those negative beliefs, if you can drop them down, be like, you know what? I don't have to keep thinking this. I don't have to keep carrying the worst things that happened to me. I don't have to keep remembering that this person broke my heart, that that person abused me, that this person hurt me deeply, uh, physically, mentally, emotionally, whatever it is, that um, I was burned when I tried to be vulnerable, that X, Y, Z. You don't have to carry those stories around with you. You don't have to. We choose to. But a lot of good things and bad things happen to everyone. Everybody has a mixture of both. You can make a choice, a conscious effort to try to put that backpack down, at least sometimes. You know, just be like, you know what, today, that's not my story. I'm not the girl that can't find love. I'm not the guy that was left at the altar. Whatever your story is, you don't have to carry it with you. It's the past. It happened. It's over. Today's full of new opportunities. Even if the day doesn't end up going the way you wanted it to or expected it to, just the fact that energetically you are ready and you have like, instead of a backpack, you have a fanny pack. You have a little, light, beautiful, cute fanny pack in the front with just a few light thoughts like, oh, today is a day full of opportunities. Oh, that's in my fanny pack. What else is in there? There's not much going on in there, you know? Really, it's like there's a lot of space to breathe and I feel light and I can move through the day lightheartedly. You know, like I expect good things from today. If that's a little too heavy for you, I hope good things will happen today. Every day is full of surprises. Every day is full of unexpected events. I have no idea what I'm going to talk about and with whom today. I have no idea what I'm about to see on Instagram today. I might see something super interesting. I might cross a YouTube video that changes my life today and just open my mind to a whole new way of thinking. Hmm. Cute little fanny pack with all of these light and yummy, delicious, easy thoughts. You can take that with you instead. And now you are running up them stairs to them higher levels like, Ayo, I'm coming, future. <laughs> The point is the backpack theory has helped me a lot because sometimes I catch myself now saying things. I'm like, you know what? No, that's my old backpack. I don't have to keep thinking this. I don't have to keep thinking men are dogs. No offense, but you know. You could also say, you know what? I have a coworker, super annoying, soups annoying, don't want to deal with this person, but that's the old backpack. I don't have to carry that into today. Maybe. Today will be different with this person. Maybe this person won't even interact with me. So I won't be annoyed by them. I will be fine. Maybe I'll have a good work day today. Maybe everything is just going to work out. Maybe the work that I think is going to be hard is actually going to be really easy. Maybe I'm going to find solutions to this problem that I never thought of to before. Those are fanny pack thoughts, okay? Pick them up, put them in your fanny pack, and saunter through your day with grace and inner peace and lightheartedness. Ah, oh, don't you already feel better? Take a moment today, sit with your backpack and be like, okay, what am I carrying? What is so heavy on me right now? What is it that I am believing and I keep choosing to believe that isn't serving me? Something that maybe before it was good because it protected me. Something that maybe in certain circumstances it helps me to think about. But that ultimately, no, actually it, it slows me down. It hinders me. It blocks me from my blessings. And how can I look at those thoughts inside of my backpack? Take one and then be like, how can I flip this? <laughs> what is it? Flip it, switch it and reverse it. That Missy Elliott quote. Put the thing down, flip it and reverse it. Hey, if you're a friend of the end, yeah, um, hey, you're okay. Sorry, <laughs> you see, music me. If you have a thought of, my gosh, I've been sick for a very long time, try to flip it and be like, there are trillions of cells in my body, and they all want the same thing. They want to be in balance, they want to be in health, they want me to move and to continue to live. So, I'm connected to my cells and I'm connected to my body and I'm giving it the time, I'm giving it the grace, patience, and love that it needs to do its thing. 
And I am receptive to solutions that I didn't think about, medicines that I didn't think about, be they uh, Western medicine or homeopathic, whatever. There's many, many ways to get to homeostasis. I don't know if that's the right word, but I'm using it anyways. There are many ways to get to healthy and it's not one size fits all. So who knows? The backpack we're taking every day. Put it down. See if you can work on another one. Just see. You know, it's easy to argue for your limitations. We all do it. It's easy to say, yeah, but you don't understand. This happened to me, this happened to me, this happened to me. Okay, if you want to argue for why you're picking up the backpack that you are, that's cool. You're not doing it for me. If you want to keep picking up that backpack, keep going. I'm talking to you, the person that's thinking, you know what, I've always thought that this is how it was and how it will be forever, but what if I'm wrong? Do you want to be right or do you want to be happy? Sometimes that's a question you have to ask yourself. Maybe I need to crack open something that's been closed for so long, a closed, coal-esque, hardened belief. Maybe I need to crack it open, let some air and some light inside of it and actually see what happens, you know? Just a thought. Like I said, this helps me. I love it when I catch myself carrying an old backpack. I'm like, ah, drop it. Drop it, let it go, let it go, let it go. <laughs> and then I'm like, okay, no, we're gonna move forward with the, the fanny pack. Shout out to Tzidi, she's the one who came up with the fanny pack notion when I was talking about backpacks. And she's like, backpacks are behind you. It's the past weighing you down, pulling you back. Fanny packs are small, cute, and they're in front of you. It's carrying you forward, you know? Mm. And I was like, girlfriend, you was wise, you was smart, you was beautiful. <laughs> So there you have it. I'm gonna leave you with this to digest and intake. Next video, I think I'm gonna be talking about generators. Woo! You're like, what? <laughs> yes, there will be many metaphors on this, this channel coming, coming very soon. And generators are kind of like backpacks. It's uh, just another way, another perspective, another way of seeing the same things so that you can better understand what's going on inside of you, inside of your head, your mind, your body, your soul, and see if any of these metaphors connect to you to help you, help you clean the dirty windows inside of your mind so you can see clearly. I'm just giving you the tools. I'm giving you a vinegar solution, <laughs> all natural baby, so that you can find peace and then happiness and ease in your life. I also am going to release a video on perspective soon. Maybe I should have started with that because it's pretty important. I think perspective is everything and we can save the world if we understand the concept of perspective. But that's for another time. I am sending you tons of positive energy right now. Thank you for watching. Oh, put a backpack emoji in the comments so I know that you've gone this far. What else can be fun? How about we share some of our backpack beliefs it's just like backpack emoji and then the belief or the thought that you've been thinking for a very long time and underneath a flip it and reverse it sign i think there's an emoji for that flip it and reverse it emoji and then put the fanny pack belief or thought instead so that we can all share in the growth and the work that we're doing to just be better creators of our realities and just happier creators really that's what it's all about Anyhow, thank you for spending some time with me today. It is much appreciated. And please like this video and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already for more content. It also helps with the YouTube algorithm, which just helps the content content the channel. And yes, it helps me know that I should keep going on this path and creating more content because it's resonating. It helps. I guess I'll see you in the next video. Take care of yourself. Bye.